Did you know that in Norse mythology there is a creature that supplies eternal bacon? Hey everyone, welcome back to our channel where we dive into the fascinating world of myths and legends. We're full of passion to share this with you, and we hope that you are the same too. Today, we're venturing into the mystical realms of Norse mythology, a world of powerful gods, fearless warriors, and magical creatures. In this episode, we're exploring an intriguing and lesser-known tale from the Norse sagas, the story of Sharmnir, the magical boar of Valhalla. Sharmnir was the Norse god of eternal bacon. He was a boar cursed with both immortality and being incredibly delicious. According to Norse legend, every morning, Andromnir, the chef to the Norse gods, dragged Sharmnir from his pen and threw him in his cauldron named Eldrimnir with boiling water. While his body burned in the pot, Andromnir sliced off pieces of his flesh and served them. This way, the gods and fallen warriors eat well until Ragnarok. Sharmnir was pretty big. His flesh was expected to single-handedly feed every single warrior in Valhalla. This hungry crowd included every man who'd fallen in battle from the beginning of the world. A meal fit for all Norse gods, except Odin. Apparently, Sharmnir was also pretty tasty. Ancient Norse poetry tells us. By Andrimnir in Eltrimnir, Sharmnir, the boar, is boiled. The best of bacons. Odin alone never touched Sharnir's meat. He didn't stop anyone from serving it to him, he just threw the meat to his dogs. Odin himself adhered to a strict, all-liquid diet. No food does he need, the legends tell us. Wine is both food and drink to him. As for Sharmnir, he was never allowed to die. Every time a chunk of flesh was cut off his body, it grew back. Chef Andromnir cut him down to the bone again and again from breakfast until the end of dinner, before finally letting the boar go. And then, to his horror, the boar watched his flesh grow back, knowing that soon he'd go through it all over again. After the feast, Shrenir is magically restored to life, ready to be cooked again the next day. This cycle ensures that the food supply in Valhalla is inexhaustible, allowing the inhabitants to indulge in a never-ending feast until Ragnar the prophesied final battle that will bring about the end of the world, Shrimnir's perpetual rebirth and role in the Feast of Valhalla symbolize the idea of abundance, sustenance, and eternal enjoyment for the fallen warriors who are honored in the afterlife. It also reflects the significance of feasting and camaraderie among warriors of Norse mythology. The story of Shrimnir, along with other elements of Norse mythology, contributes to the depiction of Valhalla as a place of honor and celebration for those who died in battle. The imagery of a grand feast with a magically rejuvenating boar is one of the enduring and captivating aspects of Norse mythology. Belief in Sarimnir seems, on the surface of it, a way to explain the feeding of the Sir and the multitudes of Einherjar and how this was sustained over an eternity for ever-increasing numbers of Einherjar and to provide an answer to questions on the practicality of feeding these large numbers, while also sustaining an element of the supernatural. The use of this pig, which continuously regenerates to provide those in Valhalla with food, is beyond the experiences of those in the mortal world. It would have been told to, and therefore serves to reinforce the idea of the great powers and supernatural abilities of their gods. More broadly speaking, however, belief in Serimnir may have come about due to a fear of food shortages in the Viking world much of which was prone to a harsh climate. The idea of there being sufficient food, and good food at that, in Valhalla, a place which one must die in battle to reach, makes it seem both even more fantastical as well as having the practical application of encouraging people to fight for the Vikings in order to attain this ideal. Belief in Norse mythology can be associated with certain Hindu beliefs. For instance, Hinduism considers cows to be sacred animals, which parallels with the idea of Saramir being a divine being. However, Hinduism decrees that cows are to be treated with respect while Norse mythology could be accused of perpetuating the idea of mistreating animals since Saramir is killed and eaten every day. On the other hand, while it is far less common and much more frowned upon nowadays, historically, sacrifices have formed a part of Hindu religious belief and this can be compared to the manner in which Saramnir is killed every night in order to feed the gods and fallen warriors. 
just as sacrifice in Hinduism is intended to be an offering to God. In terms of the wider implications of the story of Sayar Nir, the idea of Valhalla could be compared to the Hindu belief in reincarnation, just as warriors who die in battle earn the right to go to Valhalla in Norse mythology. Those who do good actions in Hinduism gain karma, which dictates their status once reincarnated. The key difference here, however, is that Valhalla is eternal in Norse mythology. Once there, you remain there. But in Hinduism, reincarnation allows you to continue living over and over again in their world while taking on different forms. And that wraps up our mythical journey through the legendary halls of Valhalla with the incredible tale of Shermnir, the ever-resurrecting boar. If you've enjoyed feasting upon this story as much as the Einherjar enjoyed their endless banquets, then please leave a like and subscribe for more mythological tales from around the world. Don't forget to hit that bell icon so you won't miss out on any new adventures we embark on together. Have thoughts or theories about Shormnir and the Norse gods? Share them in the comments below. I'd love to hear your perspectives and interpretations. Join me next time as we dive into the depths of another ancient mythology, uncovering secrets, gods, and creatures beyond imagination. Until then, keep exploring, stay curious, and remember, in the world of myths and legends, there's always more than meets the eye. You may also want to watch Japanese vs. Chinese mythology and Cyclops vs. Minotaur clash of brute strength. Signing off, this is Innovatronics TV, your guide through the mystical realms of the past. See you in the next video.